by expressing uh, my warmest thanks uh, to Vasna, my good friend uh, and the Minister of Interior of this beautiful country, Slovenia, and also to our President. Till this moment, it is uh, his last appearance as President, but it's not his last uh, moment in uh, what we all try to do together with his experience. With his support, we're going to work together in the Council, as we did before, in a very successful way. So thanks again for your hospitality. Beyond that, I would like to say that um, we are at a crossroad, and we have to stick and work together with all Western Balkan countries. I see our occasion to gather here today as a continuation of uh, this tradition in uh, this uh, location, as the Western Balkans have always played an important role in our common European history. If the recent challenges have shown us one thing, it is that we are all part of the larger, bigger European family. Today, with both migration and security high on our shared political agendas. I am pleased to see that our cooperation is intensifying and is getting stronger and stronger. After the unprecedented waves of migrants crossing the Western Balkans to enter Central Europe, this route, the so-called Western Balkans route, is now relatively stable, but we remain vigilant. The implementation of the EU Turkey statement, the support <coughs> of EU agencies, as well as the efforts made by all the countries along this route, have contributed in a substantial way to the positive change. The European Union continues to support the worst and Balkans countries in these efforts, not just financially, but also operationally. With the new European borders and the Coast Guard, additional border management support will now be possible in third countries, and the Western Balkans is a priority region for us. A regional liaison officer will be deployed in spring next year. Europol is another important agency which offers support to the region on both smuggling, but also security and terrorism issues. We will also deploy Europol liaison officers to the entire region in the near future. We all recognize that terrorism knows no borders. And the Western Balkans countries are key partners for the European Union in our common fight against terrorism. With the Western Balkans Counter-Terrorism Initiative, our cooperation does not start from scratch but must be intensified because the terrorist threat to the entire continent remains high. While the flow of foreign terrorist fighters may have decreased, the question of returnees remains a shared challenge as well as a threat. It is absolutely essential that we enhance our collaboration in all, in all our counter-terrorism efforts on all fronts, starting from prevention and anti-radicalization to stopping terrorist fighters from leaving and holding the acquisition and trafficking of illegal firearms. Our joint political statement on firearms today is a demonstration of political commitment to step up gears collectively. Finally, I want to end on an issue which I know is important here and is important to the European Union too, mobility and visa-free travel. In an effort to continue bringing the Western Balkans closer to the European Union and to facilitate, strengthen and safeguard visa-free travel, we have proposed the European Travel Information and Authorization System. It will be cheap, quick and easy, and it won't change a single thing for 95 percent of the travelers from this region. But it will allow us to better detect common security and migration threats for the benefit of all of us. Similarly, the new visa suspension mechanism will allow us to better 
fight abuses and thereby strengthen visa-free travel for the genuine travelers. <clears throat> I hope this will also pave the way for visa liberalization for Kosovo once the outstanding benchmarks are fulfilled. Dear friends, now more than ever, a close and solid relationship between the Western Balkans and the European Union is vital. Even beyond the issues of migration and terrorism, our past and present are shared, and so is our future, as we all belong, as at the beginning, to the wider European family. While the, co the ghosts of nationalism of the past are still fresh, we must all look uh, to the future, which is joint and European. This is why I look forward to the next meeting next year in one of the Western Balkan countries. The European Union remains committed and, uh, to strengthening the EU-Western Balkans relationship. Thank you.